Here we go. Welcome back, Revolt family. Today's workout of the day is grip and rip. And grip and rip, it's a little long, so I'll go ahead and I'll explain it for you. So starting on minute zero with a, with a starting running clock, you're going to go ahead and do a descending rep scheme. Uh, 21, 18, 15, 12 burpees. And in between each of those sets of burpees, you're gonna go ahead and do one round of odd object DT. So odd object DT, you'll go ahead and do 12 deadlifts with your odd object, nine hand cleans with your odd object, and then you'll go ahead and do six uh, shoulder overhead or push jerks with your odd object. So that is gonna be starting on the zero. Starting on the 10, meaning whenever you finish that first portion of it, you are resting. So if it takes you, say, six minutes to do your descending rep scheme of 21, 15, uh, 21, 18, 15, 12, then you are resting until minute 10. As soon as minute 10 starts, then you're doing the same thing again, just different movements. You're going to do 21 jumping air squats over that odd object, 18 jumping air squats over the odd object, 15 and 12 with one round of DT in between each of those sets. So you'll do again, 12 deadlifts with your odd object, uh, nine hang power cleans with your odd object, and then six uh, shoulder to overhead with your odd object. And then you'll do your next set of jumping air squats. Um, so slightly longer, you may have a little bit of rest in there if you're pretty smart with it and you kind of move. Um, otherwise you're gonna be going from one into the other, which is totally fine. The warm up, guys, is always you wanna make sure you get a nice warm up going. First thing you're gonna do is one minute active Samson. So you're just gonna take a nice lunge out, interlock your fingers, press up and back at the shoulders, step up from there, same thing on the other side, interlock, press up and back. So you're gonna go ahead and do that for one minute, then you're gonna go ahead and do 40 seconds of odd object deadlift, whatever your odd object is. With the deadlifts, I want a slight bend to the knees, hinge back at the hips, grab onto whatever that odd object is, shoulders pulled back, stand that up, and then same thing on the reverse. So go ahead and do that for 40 seconds. Once you do that, you're gonna do one minute of frog hops. Think uh, a burpee, but without the push-up at the bottom. So no push-up burpee. I'm thinking about on the drive back, pop the hips, get my feet to my hands as quick as possible. So hands down, pop back, and then back up, stand up. And then back up. And you'll go ahead and you'll do that for 40 seconds, or sorry, for one minute. Once you do that for one minute, you're gonna go ahead and do 40 seconds of whatever your odd object is. You're gonna do Russian swing, so about eye level. As always, I'm thinking about my hips are gonna hinge back, slight bend in the knees, and really squeeze my glutes to drive whatever that odd object is. Get it about eye level, more or less. Let that come down. As soon as my elbows are up against my ribs, that's basically my reset to drive back into that next swing and then pop back up, back down, pop back up, okay? Uh, once you do that for 40 seconds, you'll do one minute of mountain climbers. Mountain climbers, you'll be kind of like in a push-up plank position. From here, guys, you're gonna bring one foot to the front, back, the other foot comes to your hand, and you're basically just doing that as fast as you possibly can. Really think about trying to land with that foot that's coming to your hand as close as you can and having that foot flat on the ground. So you're gonna do this. Once you hit this, then you're warmed up. You're ready to rock and roll. So again, today's workout, grip and rip on the zero. You're gonna do 21 burpees. With the burpees, just like the frog hops, let the gravity do its job. Get to the ground as fast as you can. From there, pop the hips, bring your feet back to your hands. Jump and clap at the top. Back down. Jump and clap at the top. So you'll do 21 of those. Once you do 21 of those, then you'll do one round of DT, which is going to be 12 deadlifts, nine cleans, six shoulder overhead. With the deadlifts, as always, nice tight core throughout, guys. It's gonna help protect your back. So you're gonna be hinging at the hips, grabbing whatever that odd object is. Stand up, back down. Once you do 12 of those, now we can go into the hand cleans. With the hand cleans, obviously that odd object is going to stay above the knees. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my shoulders forward. Hips are gonna drive back a little bit. From here, strive to bring my hips back under, pop through, and fast elbows underneath whatever that odd object is. 
Once you catch, you can come back down and do the same thing. So you're gonna do that for nine. Once you finish nine of that, from here guys, you're going to dip and drive if you're gonna be doing push jerks, if you're gonna be doing push press, and think about just one dip, and then squeeze the glutes to drive that overhead. Either way, whenever you push press, push jerk, I want you to think about really being active through the shoulder, press that weight up throughout, <clears throat> in order to have a nice, solid foundation for the weight overhead, and then bring it back down. So again, one round of DT in between each of these sets. 12 deadlifts, nine power cleans, and then six push press. Once you do that, if you finish, if you finish, let's say at minute seven, then you have three minutes to rest. At minute 10, you're gonna do the same concept, descending rep scheme, 21, 18, 15, 12. The difference is you're gonna be doing air squat or jumping air squats over your odd object. So if that odd, odd object is on the floor, you'll go ahead and do an air squat on one side and then hop over that item, air squat on the other side, hop over the item again. So you'll do 21, 18, 15, 12, and one round of DT with your odd object in between each of those. Same exact thing, 12 deadlifts, nine power cleans, six shoulder overhead, that will be your one round of DT. And that starts at minute 10, okay? So at minute zero, at minute 10 is when you're gonna start this work. Your, whatever your time is at the end, that is your score for the day, guys. And as always, make sure, go ahead and put it into Wattify. Uh, take a picture if you're working out with anybody uh, at the house, put it on Facebook, put it on Instagram, guys. As always, be safe, uh, take care of the family, wash your hands, and don't touch your face. See you tomorrow, guys.